Who says you can't have it all? Not Appalachian Wireless. We know what you want. Appalachian Wireless offers the hottest smartphones and unlimited data plans, all on the region's number one network. Johnson Heights resident Sherry McCoy claims that she's been asking the Pike County Fiscal Court for years for help with her collapsing driveway. The driveway connects to this section of Johnson Heights that a Pike County official admitted today was paved illegally. At Tuesday's Pike Fiscal Court meeting, County Road Commissioner Jackie Darrell Smith told the court that illegal paving work was performed about a decade ago at Johnson Heights at Raccoon Creek. But one of our road crews who was the crew leader who has now passed illegally. He went up there and put a hard top behind him, and one foot, I believe I measured, beyond what it should have been. But even yet, that was, uh, shouldn't have been done. I wasn't, <clears throat> wasn't here with the system at that time. The revelation came as Johnson Heights resident Sherry McCoy again confronted the fiscal court about damage she alleges the county has caused to her driveway. All I'm asking is somebody come out there and look at it and help me get it fixed. McCoy claims the county's maintaining of a 425-foot stretch of Johnson Heights, on which no residences set or driveways connect, is the cause of her driveway collapse over the past several years. It all started slipping. It just eroded the, the asphalt, the ground. We had fence there. We had trees there. That, that salt, it, it, it killed everything. The fence rotted out. Um, everything just started slipping over the hill. The original road is probably 100 to about 100 feet over the hill. McCoy's driveway used to connect to Johnson Heights just past the section of road included in the county road system. The county, however, had the road paved about 110 feet past that mark. McCoy alleges the county maintained the road past the 425-foot mark for years, then suddenly stopped. Her driveway collapse was apparently left as a burden for her to bear, even though it's on the bank alongside the allegedly illegal paved section of road that is slipping and taking McCoy's driveway. I'm not asking them to do any special favors for me or anyone, but there's multiple families on this mountain that travel this road. It affects us all. They need to come out and uh, correct what they've torn up. McCoy has been advised by Pike Deputy Judge Executive Herbie Deskins to sue the county for the damage it allegedly caused. According to the timeline given by Jackie Darrell Smith, the illegal paving work would have been performed during previous Judge Executive Wayne T. Rutherford's administration. Smith said the employee who had the illegal work done is now deceased. McCoy said she is exploring legal options for her driveway issue. In Pike County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.